we're back to discuss breaking in. And if you saw our review, um, we generally didn't like it. Um, it's a PG-13 movie uh, that appears to have at least at one point not been a PG-13 movie or had been something that they had to tone down to get PG-13, mostly in language. I think the most noticeable thing is someone said that somebody was a freaked up tweaker <laughs> and his lips are not saying freaked, um, which no human being would say freaked up anyway. So uh, that was pretty obvious. Um, I like Billy Burke just fine. He's kind of the same in everything. Uh, I... I don't know, man. Like the uh, the trailer for this, and I, I was looking at what movie to do tonight because um, we were only going to do one. And the only two new movies were this and the new Melissa McCarthy movie, which is the one that she made with her husband. So they're the team that brought us Tammy and the Boss. I was like, no, I'd rather see like a terrible thriller than <laughs> that than a, than a really bad comedy so yeah um yeah we can talk about the house we can talk about whatever you guys want because so i was counting the bullets like I, I i i found there was unrealistic amount of like gunshots happening that yeah. didn't hit anything except for one of the other villains yeah like mm -hmm. if you're gonna have a gun be be good with be they good at shooting things, I suppose. Is the, the the lesson learned. Well, so here. here's the here's the thing. Like, she fights that first guy, like the uh, the, guy in the, blue the like tech guy, yeah, mm -hmm. or whatever. And he hits his head on the rock, and he's laying there with his eyes open. He's dead, right? <laughs> yeah. That's what that's, I was assuming. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they made it look like. And mm -hmm. then it's like the script just remembered. Oh, he's in a lot more of this movie. We need to bring him back. <laughs> um. She ran over the other guy with the truck. He walks it off. Twice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's fine. Yeah, um, totally fine. The, right. the son shoots Billy Burke in the face, <laughs> and, Did, and he doesn't have any damage at all. Did, oh, I thought he missed, but yeah, I guess it was, yeah. It looked like it went straight into his eye, the way they, the way they framed that like, shot of him like ducking out of the way, and the, like, the camera followed the bullet. It, it looked like it went right into his eye. It would have been more interesting if it had, I mm -hmm. suppose. But then we wouldn't have the twist of him not being the last guy she had to deal with. She had to deal with the guy that we really didn't care about. Right. <laughs> yeah. uh, instead. One thing I will say, yay, yay smart move for the directors with the character Maggie. Whenever she's like, oh, she left? Oh, she's not there? She didn't just walk in the house and be like, oh, you know, I'll have, mm -hmm. pour myself a glass of wine and just go in like a normal movie would go mm -hmm. and just let her be all delusional and tied up mm -hmm. someplace. Well, and they also had this convoluted problem of the, the like craziest of the guys is the one that goes out and deals with her and slits her throat. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. And 911 has already been called, by the way. And they, they hang that up, and she's so she's outside by her car um, with her throat slit. And then, like, two or three minutes later, they bring the body into the house. There's mm -hmm. not a drop of blood on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's really no explanation as to why they would do that, why they would bring the, this body they just created inside the house. And you never see it. But it's... But it's and you don't see it again. <laughs> But that's only done so that when the husband shows up later, he doesn't find the body immediately and mm -hmm. figure everything out. Yeah. That's the yeah. only reason that the script had for moving that body. And Yeah, they never move they never remove Peter's body when he gets shot, so he stays on lawn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. They just left the bodies like but you would think that like with her throat being slit, like there would be a puddle of blood where mm -hmm. she they left her and like they're well, running around the living room, going up and down the stairs. They're going through that room. So, yeah. like, oh, hold on one sec. Let me hurdle over this body. It never happened. Right. Kids weren't even phased if there happened to have truly been a dead body right there. Mm -hmm. Right. But um, Then there's the whole, like, literal Chekhov's gun mm -hmm. where he has the gun. He drops the magazine. 
a woman in our theater says the words, the chamber. <laughs> <laughs> and he drops the rest of the gun on the floor and doesn't shoot her with it. And then later she gets to the gun, but instead of that being what she used, they are using it to trick the audience because Why not? the guy, well, the guy steps on her hand that's getting the gun, but she pulls the knife out of its scabbard that on, on his side mm -hmm. and stabs him with it, which is like more effective. It's just, they set up this gun and didn't really come into play. It was just like another bait and switch. Yeah, it was another bait and switch, another, another twist mm -hmm. to throw into it. I guess we were supposed to cheer when she stabbed him, but no one felt like doing that. Uh, people stood up like as the camera was panning back from the house, <laughs> like after the last last scene. Uh, yeah, people were just done with this movie, and I I don't know. I mean, you were saying how you thought it just got straight into the action. I thought it just it took forever oh. for the guys to show up and for the action to actually start. Um, I don't know why they had to like. They were oddly trying to build suspense before the guys even showed up, which I was thought was bizarre. But well, the, and the opening scene is just this sort of shocking thing mm -hmm. that doesn't work because we don't know who that guy is or why we care about mm -hmm. what happens to him. They just show us this really violent thing, and the people in our audience were like mm -hmm. uh, uncomfortable mm -hmm. about <laughs> it. They're just kind of like, "Oh, what the hell? Like what?" What's this about? What, why don't they kill this old man? <laughs> it's not cool. Yeah. True. The the, the, only, no the only thing we the only thing we needed to know was that he was dead. That was about it. Yeah. Then they brought in the whole weird DEA storyline that didn't end up didn't going go anywhere. anywhere. Well, it's, it felt <laughs> like they were in the car for like five minutes setting up exposition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before they got to the house, and then once they got to the house, it was all about the house. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was all about them like learning everything that needed to be learned about how the security system works and where everything is and. How easily it could be fooled because it's not that impressive. Yeah. Well, and I had the feeling that, like, it would it, the system had been it was like system override or whatever when they got into the house for the first time, mm -hmm. and the girl like figured out how to reset it. But I thought that that was going to mean that the bad guys had gotten in already and reset the alarm codes mm -hmm. so that they could just walk in anytime they wanted to. Yeah. And. No, it's no. just the world's stupidest, Just like, out. yeah. <laughs> it's like someone had Simone Yetch make them a security system. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's shitty, like, like her robots. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't work. So. Yeah. I feel like we had more to add, but then, like, one of us vaporized. So. <laughs> yes. I'll, I'll call that an ending for now. <laughs> if you like the way we do these, please like the video, subscribe, check out all the written and video reviews at dalemaxfield.com. Thanks for watching.